cabeza. You can immediately sense that the atmosphere is a very fun, friendly, relaxed place, you know? It feels like that kind of island where people do genuinely come to come and enjoy themselves. This is good, this is all part of the suspense, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> We're at the wrong house, guys. <laughs> oh. Something clicked. Oh, wait, we have oh, to. He's got it. Remember, we have to. No, I don't have a spring door. It's another door. <laughs> Oh, straight in. Straight in. Straight in. Wow, look at this. This is open the whole time. Beautiful. Big dining room. Easy here, but no responsibility. You can't read that. I think that's a communal place for the keys. Kitchen. This is our house now. This is where we live. You've got like the washing machine. Bathroom. So these are the two. And this is a double. This is two. Oh, there's three. There's three beds in here. Is it mine? What you can get one of those. It's back in the living room. Oh, there's an upstairs. the peace and love it's in here so in your heart you don't need it you don't need a sign above your bed that says peace and love no it's in here <laughs> are they in there <laughs> oh yeah take the piss so this is the it's a window. This, is the this is the orgy that's orgy room. the orgy room oh, look at this it's got a little balcony as well This is where I think the DJ set is gonna be. And there's the pool, baby. Wow, look at this view. Amazing. Try not to fall off. Must remember not to fall off. So this villa we've got, it's like the Godfather villa in Godfather 1. It's, it is really, really cool. It's like really cool. So I'm here, this is the first day, proper day, right by the pool, private pool, private villa, lovely, what more do you want? Um, reminds me a little bit of the film Sexy Beast, which I do believe was filmed in Ibiza. Uh, let me know in the comments if if I'm right or if I'm wrong with that. But the the atmosphere, they re that film is a, a wonderful film. Uh, one of the best British films, I think, in the last 25 years. It, it really, really gets the flavour of being British abroad in Spain and what that means, um, as well as, of course, being a, a gangster drama. But... Couldn't be happy with the villa. As you can see, beautiful views. Let me try and get over there. There, beautiful views. All that. Lovely jubbly. Um, now I'm gonna go in the pool and then do a little bit of sunbathing because I'm in Ibiza. Another Ibiza related film that has to get a mention is Kevin and Perry Go Large. Now I think that film gets a bad rap. I think a little bit is part to do with because it's kind of a spin-off of a TV show or TV characters. But if you look at it for what it is, which is a light, funny, 
uh, adolescent, uh, silly slapstick comedy. It, it ticks every box and I think it's a brilliant film. And I think, yeah, I would recommend anybody to watch that film, especially if you're thinking about going to Ibiza, because uh, it actually, I, I wonder if the Ibiza tourist board were involved in the funding of that film, because I actually think it's probably the best commercial for a place I've ever seen in a film, you know? Um, I think it's really good. And it's a really funny film. <laughs> so I would definitely check it out if you haven't seen it already. Kevin and Perry Go Large. It's about the story of two teenage virgins that go to Ibiza to become DJs in order to shag lots of women. Um, <laughs> which is great. On this point of films, I, th I think... I think in the future, I think my long-term goal would be to have, or to be in a position where I can be involved in the production and making of those kinds of films, you know? British, films that encompass the British identity, high quality films, not necessarily well, made by British people, British writers and everything, but with a really British theme, you know? Because the way the film industry is at the moment, you know, if a film is made in England, it's classed as an English film. You know, Harry Potter, for example. Is it an English film? It's all American money, right? And I don't know if it encapsulates British culture like a film, like, say, Sexy Beast does, or Kez, if anyone's seen Kez. You know, the Lochian stuff and the high-quality British stuff. I'd love to be involved in that. You know, stuff that really grips and feels the UK identity for the modern era. Old town and <laughs> good job. It's good, good trial. Is your uh... hey guys? So <laughs> we're here in Ibiza. So we're here. We're on our way to Pasha, uh, which we've heard is an excellent club, and um, it should be a very good night. Let's see what happens. Hey guys. So hey guys. Now we're here in Pasha. Um, so far, it's actually a really cool club. It feels like a really good vibe. And uh, we're in like the sort of the entrance bit, which is like a bit of a smoking area. And uh, yeah, it's cool. It's really, really cool, real laid back. And uh, let's see what happens with this night. Nice. So then. Leo. My, my name is Mysterious. And Mysterious. Said, Mysterious. Mysterious. It's a camera off, isn't it? Look at us both pointing at each other. This is like uh, when Louis Theroux met the Scientologists. <laughs> they just kept filming. Safe. This, we should have a war. War of cameras. That's a big camera. 
Yeah, that's but... a big camera, but is it the same quality though? That's the question. Well, it's not about the quality. It's about the cameraman. Or woman. <laughs> camera person. It's, about the, it's not about the size. It's about the way you use it. You know that's, what I mean? what, that's what women have been telling me all my life. <laughs> you could trick someone with that, you know. You know, stick your finger in there. Stick your finger in there. That's it, that's it. It's a magic trick, man. Oh! No, <laughs> Get a villa with a cocktail so, making kit. Fen, Fen, can you give us a tutorial? So, we have. <laughs> hey guys! Um, what do we have in here? So, I've just made a quick. <laughs> oh my god! I've made a quick, simple. So, what sugar. is that? That's, that's, that's ice. So, I just made a quick, simple sugar with equal parts sugar and water boiled. So okay. Like sugar dissolved. So that's that. So now we've got a sugar. So that syrup. that that basically is sugar sugar water. That's sugar water. Yeah, simple syrup. And we got lemon juice. Okay. And then we had a fifty ml of gin in okay. ice with my makeshift cocktail shaker. It's kind of cold, and then you top it up with champagne. But this is Carver, so. It's a cheap version. Well, it's just a Spanish version, I suppose, isn't it? And then and that's it. And then we go. You have your French seventy five with. Carver instead of champagne. How does it taste? I don't know. Why don't you? Um, it's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that great. Um, it's not that great. Um, it's not that great. Um, it's not that great. All the babes, the babes on the beach. Hey guys, we're here in Ibiza having a great time. Cheers. Here in Las Dalias Market, lots of trinkets, lots of little hippie esque things, uh, spirituality personified, personified is not the word, unified. Is that a word? I don't know. It's a cool, really cool place though, it's a really nice atmosphere. It's 
just feels like the kind of place where somewhere there's a magic lamp which will grant three wishes. One of the stores might sell it. What would be my three wishes? Hmm. Well, my first wish would be that everyone that I care about and that I love and that cares about me, I would wish that they all have happy, long, healthy, successful lives and die peacefully in old age. That would be the first wish. Second two wishes, six inches taller and a 12 inch cock. Actually 12 is quite big, isn't it? I'll take an eight. To be honest, at this point I'd take a six. So tonight, I've never done it, but one of the lads here has taken, I'm gonna call it DSL for the first time. Um, I haven't done it, uh, I don't wanna do it, but I wanna see this guy's reaction because we don't know where he is. He's gone. He's gone walkabout. <laughs> he's probably tripping balls. Paul, oh, how, how's yeah, the, how's the trip? Yeah. So my trip is that referring to my my Bifa trip or uh, my trip on acid? You refer to whatever you want it to refer to. Okay. Well, my my I Bifa trip it's 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 going quite well. You know, I've made a lot of new yeah. friends and had, had some good memories. But my, my acid trip is I'm tripping absolutely bonkers now. I, see purple elephants floating in the sky as I speak and in fact I, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm looking at my arms and my my arms are actually inflatable balloons I don't know how that has happened um, my mouth it appears to be made of bananas <laughs> and uh, my face is like some kind of like jelly it's, it's really weird it's really weird but yeah don't take acid kids it's really bad for you <laughs> but other than that you have a good night but apart from that, I'm having a really good night. Yeah, right. Putting on my arm here, I make it a bit clearer. Yeah, it's it's making so I do that. It's salty, it's salty. 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 It's Right, then we need the testicles over here as well, don't we? And there's maybe some hair. Let's get the hair. How are you finding it, James? I'm having a great night, mate.
or Mystique. It's a little bit Miami. enough I'm actually being the designated driver tonight so I'm not drinking I actually drove here uh, I was drinking before but I'm pretty sober now um, so I'm experiencing what an Ibiza club is like sober which is interesting uh, this club itself I feel incredibly underdressed I'm wearing my Bolton shirt as you can see uh, so I feel a little bit trashy because this is actually a really, really nice upmarket club and everyone's kind of dressed up. Um, if people are wearing shorts, they're wearing quite smart shorts and all the women look a million dollars. I mean, the women over here are just fucking unbelievable, really. They're fucking unbelievable. Tomorrow is a, here we go. Tomorrow is a white party. So, which we're gonna have at the villa. So we'll see what happens there. And yeah, it's been, and interesting. Another thing I've noticed is that the clubs here early is like midnight and like between midnight until well they they still they open really really late really really early in the morning but it becomes more and more of a sausage fest basically so less and less less women Hi. are involved. Hello do you want to hello how are you doing? Hello. This is going on YouTube. You want to be internet famous? Oh, uh, you're famous. YouTube, yeah, yeah. Well, the channel. channel. What channel? My name. Yeah. What's your name? Leo. Leo. Leo Gennati. Leo Gennati. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you search it, you'll find it. So, bye. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. So, yeah, like I was saying, it becomes a sausage fest slowly. Good in it. When I got back last night, I had a load. Well, it's 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 pretty good hangover. Well, not like your drunk food kind of thing.
so we're here in DC 10 and we're in the outside bit and the, the famous thing about DC 10 is that you can see the planes going by and the joke is apparently that you miss your plane and you see it go over your head Hey guys, so we're at DC 10 and uh, it's been a really good night so far. I don't know how long we're going to stay here, but I, I hope to stay here for as long as possible, quite frankly. Hey guys, we're here at DC 10. I'm over it. So I'm now outside DC 10. I made it to the very end. It's gone past six o'clock. Everyone is getting escorted out. Uh, the taxi situation is probably going to be an absolute nightmare. But I stayed out for the whole night and I enjoyed every minute. But we do, we do have, we do have like properly cut meat too in the fridge. Do we have it already? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I read it like right away. Very dark, very dark. And it was so sad. It was about like not eating hey guys. children. Hey guys. We, did that. we demolished it. Be a nice proposal spot, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's all about this is beautiful. That, that's Are you kidding me? That one there. Yeah, it is. Uh, You've been before. Yes, sir. Uh, but I never went like dinner and stuff. I always went just like for a party because they have like a club so funny. That club there, that's you can just about nice. see the moving people. Leo, yeah. It's very is it called Leo? Like, yeah, Leo. they just opened one. Yeah, but L I O. L I O. It doesn't sound like what I've seen doesn't really sound my vibe it sounds more like you know when we went to um So a lot of the lads that have been here for the full duration are starting to feel it now. It's been a week we've been here. But we've had some fresh blood into the villa. These fucking 22 year old girls are all here. And they all want a big they all want a big night. And we've got a we've got a wake up. So we got Amy here. <laughs> This is Amy's first and last night. Can you believe it? <laughs> so she's up for it tonight. She's having a fucking big time no matter what. G is always up for a fucking good time. Zane. Zane's being mother. The Arbe's having a big night as well.
So this is my seventh seventh night, seventh day in Ibiza. It's been pretty wild. Had a great time. Very relaxed, let's say. Um, but starting now to feel kind of jaded, you know. We're supposed to be going out tonight watching Black Coffee play out high again so that should be good and um, basically it, uh, it's gonna be an interesting night I don't think I'm gonna do I don't think I'm gonna go too wild tonight I'm gonna have a bit of a chilled one and then see what tomorrow brings and then I think Monday Tuesday definitely I'm not having a big night I'm gonna just try and recuperate and be ready for the flight back on on Wednesday then I'm also gonna have to another four days off Thursday, Friday, the weekend, and then I'm uh, it's back to normality, back to uh, back to reality. I just learned how to put the flash on. I've been making vlogs for six months, I don't know how to use the flash. <laughs> Down. Boys, the boys are walking down to see black coffee at high. It's fucking out there. That's not the age room, is it? So now we're in high, about to watch black coffee for film. It's coming on a bit. Um, I feel kind of fucked up but you know, I'm sort of keeping it together you know hopefully not many not too many people can tell how fucked up I am I hope not anyway maybe a little bit I'm like somewhere between puking myself shitting myself or having a really good time one of those three is gonna happen um, and I'll try and document it you know Gotta be real, gotta be raw. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I used to say that. I...
guys. Estamos aquí en Ibiza disfrutando de experimental. How are you? Muy bien, gracias. Dane. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> It looks like the sun has sunglasses. It looks like the sun is wearing sunglasses. Oh, shit, Twenty minutes. <laughs> hey guys, looks like the sun's wearing. Hey, looks like the sun's wearing sunglasses. And just like that, the sun has gone. The sun had his hat on, he had his sunglasses on, and now he has disappeared. I have to say, moments like this, when you got the sunset, beautiful people around you, Patrick, friends, everyone is clapping because the sunset. This, this is life. This is living. This is a beaver. This place is quite relentless. And we've just had two new people, or two people go, and then two new people join. So once again, it's gonna be a big night tonight. How do I feel? Today is probably the most tired I've felt. I've barely slept the entire holiday. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I'm sober. I don't know if I'm fucked. I don't know if I'm hungover. I don't really know what I am anymore or what I'm doing but it does look like we're going out again tonight and uh, that's the end of it. So tonight I'm in Blue Mountain again. And what I've decided to do is I've taken a little bit of DSL. So only a little bit of quarter, just as a complete test run. What are the effects? Am I seeing dragons? Am I seeing monkeys? No. Hey guys. Hey guys. How are you doing? So at the moment, the main thing is just sort of like, racing thoughts and when a thought does come it's really cool and loud and hard like a cartoon and I'm struggling to recognize faces and people um, which is like me anyway but I'll let you know how it goes So basically as well, you sort of feel a little bit extra sensitive to things, uh, light or movement or things like that, especially if it's like a very rushed one. Uh, but overall, I mean, pretty buzzed to be honest, I feel great. I feel very, very relaxed, very tranquil, um, really easy, light headed, I suppose, a little bit. But also my thoughts are still brum, brum, quite heavy. Um, but no hallucinations, no zombies. Even though it does look a bit like a graveyard behind me, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Ugh. No. So, right now, I feel pretty fine, actually. I feel fine. Um, definitely feel something, but nothing too intense. Pretty laid back, relaxed. Prefer more sort of quieter social environments than heavier ones. But... Yeah, it's good so far, man. It's doing all right. It's fine.
Hey guys, last day in Ibiza here. We're getting ready to leave. Sad times, but we'll be back. Bacon and steak. I need the mozzarella, but I see it already all went. Tiny bit left. And a whole Yeah, there's some uh, stuff up here as well. Oh, I'll figure it out. I'll get, it. I'll get over there. <laughs> so, we're on the last stretch of the holiday. It's been relentless, but it's also been fucking brilliant. Something that I've learned on this trip love is all you need. Love is all you need. When you're surrounded by people, whether it be family, friends, lovers if you have that love around you then you don't need anything else in this world you don't need money you don't need power you don't need endless women you don't need fame you don't need possessions all you need is love And I feel that now more, more in my heart than I did when I first got to Ibiza. Guys, I love you. I love everyone that was on this trip. I love my family, I love my friends. And most of all, I love you watching this video right now. Peace and love, Ibiza.